Molarity is a way of measuring and expressing the concentration of a solution. It's a very common unit of concentration used in chemistry, and we abbreviate it or symbolize it with the capital M. Molarity is calculated by taking the amount of our solute in units of mole and dividing that by the volume of the solution, the total volume of the solution, in units of liters. A lot of times chemists just simply say that molarity is the moles per liter for a solution. And I want to make sure that we really make it clear here that the volume, the liters of solution, this is the total volume of the entire solution, the solute, as well as the solvent not just the volume of the solvent. So let's work on a couple of simple molarity examples. This first problem asking us to calculate what is the molarity of a solution if it is made with 0.15 moles of NaOH in 250 milliliters. So to solve this problem, the molarity is going to be the moles of the NaOH divided by the volume of the solution in units of liters. And the problem tells us that we have 0.15 moles of NaOH. And it also tells us that the volume of the solution is 250 milliliters. 250 milliliters is 0.25 liters. In case you've forgotten the milliliter to liter conversion, Milliliter is the prefix that means one thousandth, so one milliliter is 10 to the minus third liters, and that's going to be 0 0.250 liters. So we'll plug that in. You'll be doing a lot of milliliter to liter conversions in the molarity calculation, so you're just going to quickly learn to convert from milliliters to liters, you just divide by a thousand. So let's pull a calculator up and get the answer to this problem. 0.15 moles divided by 0.25 liters. Our molarity is 0.6. We should express this to two significant figures. So it is 0 0.60. And when we are expressing our molarity, we write capital M to symbolize molarity. And then we write the formula of the solute after that. And we pronounce this 0.6 molar NaOH. So again, we use the, like the unit is the capital M to indicate molarity, but when we actually say it, when we are to read this, we would say molar and not molarity. Let's look at our second example. Second problem says, what is the molarity of 0.725 grams of NaOH in 1.65 liters of solution? So just as a habit, I always, whenever I'm solving any problems that requires me to plug things into equations, I always start by writing the equation out. Even though I, I know my equations, um, this was a strategy that I learned as a student as a way of helping me memorize the equations, just always writing them every time I needed them. And it's just kind of stuck with me. So we need to figure out, first of all, how many moles of NaOH we have. This problem's a little different because it's giving us the amount of NaOH in units of grams. So we've got to do that conversion. But that's a conversion that we already know how to do. So 0.725 grams of NaOH, we need to convert that into moles. We're going to do that by multiplying by a conversion factor that has grams of NaOH on the bottom and moles of NaOH on the top. And this relationship, as you know, is the molecular weight of NaOH that we get from adding up all of the weights of the sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. This is 23 plus 16 plus 1, a molecular weight of 40. And so these units are going to cancel out and we'll be left with units of moles of NaOH, which we're going to plug into this part of the equation. We also have the volume of the solution that's already in the correct unit, so I'm just going to write that in right now. And then we'll pull the calculator up and we'll do all of our math all at the same time. So we're going to start by calculating the moles of NaOH. So we're starting down here. We have 0.725 grams dividing by our molecular weight of 40. And that is 
0.0181 moles of NaOH. And I will also fill that number into my molarity calculation, 0.0181 moles. And now I'm going to do this calculation right here. Take my number of moles divided by the volume in liters. And it looks like we should have um, three significant figures in our answer. So we have 0 0.0110 molar NaOH. So those are just two pretty simple molarity calculation examples. In the next video, I'm going to do several more examples if you'd like more practice.